Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mark Shelfspace and today we're taking a look at Marvel Legends Black Cat from the classic Spider-Man carded retro wave. So stick around after the intro and let's check her out. All right, welcome back. Let's take a look at the back of the card real quick. All right, on the back of the card, you have a note here about her accessories. It includes a cat and a whip and a little blurb stating the black cat is the most confident, cunning burglar the world has ever seen. So let's break her out of the box and take a look at her. All right, and black cat comes with two accessories. The first being a whip because what female wearing a skin tight black cat costume wouldn't be complete without a whip? But you see, standard whip here, got your handle, the tied rope, and you've got some claws on the end here for her to use as her escape as she climbs out of whatever place she's robbing. And she also comes with a little black cat figure. So this is like the third or fourth uh, Marvel Legends figure now that I've seen that comes with an animal. They're kind of neat. Um, I'll display them if I can, but a lot of times my youngest daughter will see these and she'll want to keep them for herself. So they, uh, they don't always stay with me, but this black cat's kind of cool. Got the green eyes. Looks like he's playing with something. All right, then let's take a look at the figure. All right, quick comic lesson. So black cat first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man 194 way back in 1979. You notice this costume here is somewhat reminiscent of the first appearance Black Cat costume, but this is really more tailored off of the Spider-Man the Animated Series. But you can see the mask around the eyes. It's a little wider than it is in her first appearance costume. And you also see she's got the tufts on her arms and her legs, which are slightly different than how they appear in the comics. So in the, in the Animated Series figure, rendition here. They fall more forward down her forearm where in the comics they're they're more on the side the back of her arms and her legs and they just flail around differently. I do like the animated series costume just because it is reminiscent of the classic look and I much more prefer the classic look. So let's take a look at the figure up close. All right here she is. Paint lines on this mask look really good. I mean, they've got very small points on them. And I don't see any paint missing. So QC did a good job checking these out. And you can kind of see around the eyes, there's a little purple tint. So she's even got some eyeliner on her. That's kind of a neat feature, I think, to add to the figure. Just makes the eyes pop a little more. And it kind of matches her lipstick. Check out the hair mold here. Looks like pretty standard Felicia Hardy hair. The mold itself is pretty thick. It's pliable a little bit, but I mean, so you're not reshaping it. And it's, uh, it's a nice solid plastic. Paint lines on the costume also look decent. They're pretty crisp, clear, clean. Uh, down the center of the cleavage here. And then the rest of her costume is just black, so there's no other paint lines to really take a look at. See her arms here. She's got the fur tufts on the arms. This is similar in nature to the way the plastic on her hair feels similar. It's tough. It's not moving. Take a look at the hands. Here you can see they've got the claw features on the gloves. It's a nice detail on those. And you look at the legs here. So the all black costume. The fur tufts at the top of the calf here, same as those on the wrist, but these are just slightly larger 
Again, they're not pliable. They're pretty stuck on. That's okay. And then she's got the white boot foot. So the costume overall, you know, just plain black looks okay. There is some blotchiness on the costume. You can kind of catch it in the light here. So when the figure was finished, you know, it's not, it's, it's like there's a little bit of gloss, you know, the manufacturing was added to it, but it just didn't go on smoothly. I don't know. I would prefer, you know, maybe a little less gloss. Uh, just a more matte black personally because I think some of the blotchiness you know kind of detracts from the costume in my opinion also notice on her legs here she's got splits on both sides looks like you know where they put the figure together not a fan of that Let's check out the articulation. So the head, you know, turns a little bit, but you're kind of limited by the hair. That's okay, I mean, I'm not gonna be turning the head a lot. Arms. <clears throat> the torso. Good range of motion, twist there. Little bend, forward, backward, not much, but a little. On the arms, they bend. These arms are a little stiff. Here on my figure, I need to heat those up, but your standard double joints. Twist at the wrist and the bend. The wrists are also a little, plastic is a little uh, too pliable in my opinion, like my break. It'll be easy to, you know, like if you want to swap out her hands, you can swap out her hands easily, but it's a little bit too flimsy for my liking. Breaks at the top of the thighs. Knee joints. Put her in some cool poses if you want. Because of the tufts on the legs here, there's no turn at the top of the calf but she's got the standard foot motion here back and forth and side to side all right here's a quick side by side of two other versions of black cat so in the middle of you got your retro carded figure here on her left this is a more modern era looking black cat uh, kind of different and then on her right you've got the this is like the you know, late 90s, early 2000s uh, kind of rendition of the Black Cat. So, similar in size, the, you know, this Black Cat, a little bit taller, but that's because she's got these heels. So, the new figure does not have those heels. That's a much needed upgrade because trying to stand these figures in heels is not a good time. And really, these two bucks are mostly the same, just, you know, the, the feet are different here. But you got, like, the tufts on the feet and the arms, they're the same. But even the brakes and the legs on the side, they're the same. I mean, it's hard to see here on camera, but this piece here where it's there's a little indent, that is here. It's just not indented. Uh, so to me, I mean, it looks like the same mold. They just changed up the head sculpt slightly and uh, the upper torso as well. I definitely like the newer Black Cat yeah, over the other versions that we have. And here's a side by side with her partner in crime in their early days. This is Pizza Parker. I don't have his pizza slice, but you can see for the size comparison here. Spider-Man's just slightly taller. But those two, I think, look good together. Alright, so that's my review for Marvel Legends Black Cat and the retro carded Spider-Man Wave. All in all, I think it's a great figure. I do wish that the gloss on her black costume was more... There was less gloss, it was more matte, just to do away with some of the blotchiness. 
But all in all, I think that it's an upgrade that we needed from the previous figure, especially that this one has uh, boot feet and not high heels. If you guys liked the review, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, uh, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.